Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to Sadar Khan YouTube channel where today we study the diversity factor. Okay, yes. So let me give the heading first. The diversity factor. Now each and every consumer, the way each and every consumer uses his load is different. The, or you could say the habit of a consumer is different. Residential consumer has a different habit of using the load, which means that his peak may lie at some time off peak at some time he has got a particular habit. The industrial consumer has got a different habit. Whenever he is operating, he is operating at this maximum capability. You could say, right? Yes. So the link the link is the diversity factor or you could say the relation between a different number of consumers you could say is the diversity factor. If first of all I define it so diversity factor is the summation of individual maximum demands to the maximum demand on the system divided by the maximum demand on the power system. So this gives you the diversity factor. Is that fine? Yes. If I write it over here as a summation P K for instance K running from 1 to N for N number of consumers divided by P M of the system. Is that fine? Yes. The habit and trend followed by various consumers refer to diversity. Diversity fact diversity is determined by the diversity factor, which is defined as such. Now, of course, of course, the sum of the all the maximum demands would be greater than the maximum demand of the system, which means the diversity factor df is always greater than 1 at least it could be equal to 1 fine yes sir the residential loads has the highest diversity factors residential loads have what have the highest diversity factors whereas industrial loads have a lower diversity factors industrial has low diversity factors and the other thing is street light practically unity and other vary between the limits diversity factor is also defined as the installed capacity to the maximum demand ratio diversity factor is also defined as the installed capacity or the connected load to the maximum demand which is you could say the reciprocal of what the reciprocal of the uh, demand factor reciprocal of the demand factor yes yes sir so i believe this is clear Field experience can justify using uncertainty. Many designers, designers prefer to use a diversity factor of one. Designers prefer it as one, right? Yes, the greater the diversity factor means the lesser the maximum demand, meaning that the plant capacity will be less and hence the capital cost of investment would be less, right? Yes, sir. This is mostly used what the application is distribution transformer sizing and feeder sizing. The application is what the application is feeder sizing. Transformer selection. And also the maximum demand, uh, uh, you know, calculations right yes let me have a number of examples we, we start off with simpler ones in this particular uh, video and then we move on to a little more in the next video right yes so example is a power station supplies 
a power station supplies a load to the following consumers with the maximum demand as indicated so the industrial consumer is mentioned having a maximum demand of what of 1500 kilowatts then we have a commercial consumer with the maximum demand equal to 1000 kilowatts domestic consumer having an industrial having a, a maximum demand of 500 kilowatts and a rural consumer having a maximum demand of 350 kilowatts right yes if the maximum demand on the station is 2000 kilowatts if the maximum demand on the station is 200 kilowatts or is it 2000 2000 kilowatts what is the diversity factor what is the diversity factor so you know from the formula what would be the diversity factor the diversity factor would be summation of the individual maximum demands which means 1500 plus 1000 plus 500 plus 350 divided by the maximum demand of the station which is 2000 they are all in kilowatts which is equal to 2500 3000 3350 divided by 2000 have a look i told you the summation of the maximum demand would be always greater than the maximum demand of the system and this ratio would always be greater than one and this comes out to be 1.67 1.67 right yes sir calculate the diversity factor for a substation that has the following three outgoing feeders so calculate the diversity factor that has the following three outgoing feeders uh, feeder one has a maximum demand of feeder one has a maximum demand of 15 megawatts at 11 in the am feeder two has a maximum demand of 13 megawatts at 7 in the pm and feeder three has a maximum demand of 20 megawatts at 10 pm now what else is given the substation experiences a maximum demand of 36 megawatts substation experiences a maximum demand of 36 megawatts at 8 pm so the diversity factor is unknown diversity factor is given by the sum of individual which means 15 plus 13 plus 20 and its whole divided by 36 you do it what does it come out 1.33 this is the diversity factor and i believe this is clear okay and i forgot to explain the diversity factor as the book has explained how to find out so let me state over here <coughs> oh, sorry so the diversity factor uh, let's say i have a, a figure over here so for instance this is a distributor a, a feeder is connected to a distribution transformer the book has explained it in this way if this is a transformer which is feeding consumers for instance three consumers are mentioned a b and c now how do you calculate the maximum demand on consumer a so let's say uh, this is uh, this is connected to a feeder okay this is connected to a feeder so how do you find the maximum demand of consumer a is that you 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 find you you, you multiply the connected load with the demand factor of it right this is how you find the maximum demand of consumer a similarly you can find in the same way the maximum demand of consumer b the maximum demand of consumer c right yes now how to find the maximum demand on this transformer the maximum demand on this transformer we find through the diversity factor 
So the maximum demand on the transformer would be the summation of the maximum demands which one? Summations of A, B and C right and then divided by the diversity factor between them and the diversity factor would be given between what between this a b and c between this a b and c right yes now this transformer is now a number of transformers would be connected to the feeder let's say this is transformer one we have a transformer two we have a transformer three how to find the maximum demand on the feeder now? We found out the maximum demand of individual consumers. We are going in the opposite manner. We are going upwards. Now the maximum demand of transformer. Now if you need to find the maximum demand on the feeder. So you calculate it by what? By knowing the summation of the maximum demands of the transformers. And, and you sum the maximum demand of transformers what 1 2 and 3 and you divide it by the diversity factors between the transformers 1 2 and 3 this is how you find the maximum demand on the feeder now this feeder is coming from a substation this feeder is coming from a substation right where you have this is let's say feeder x then you have a feeder Y and then you have a feeder Z for instance connected. So how do you find the maximum demand on the substation is in this way. Maximum demand on the substation would be found out by finding the sum of the maximum demand on the feeders. That is X, Y and Z divided by the diversity factors between the the feeders X, Y and Z. And this is how the book has explained it. We'll have a number of examples on this one. Before that, let me have some simpler examples. Let me have some simpler examples. And that is what? Let's say here. So I'm given some load curves. I am given some load curves, which I would, let's say, draw. I don't need to draw it all though. So we are given load curves. Consider the load curves I do not need to draw it I should not draw it anyways uh, so the first is 15 then 5 then 10 and then 5 15 5 10 and then 5 this is 15 5 and 10 the hours are 6 6 12 6 12 fine this is let's say consumer a then i have a consumer b then i have a consumer b this is time this is power you know this right i do not need to mention it again and again 10 5 this is 10 then it's 5 then it's 20 and then it's 8 10 5 8 and 20 this is a consumer b similarly a consumer c now consumer c what does consumer c states he has 5 16 10 and 6 5 16 10 and 6 5 6 10 and 16 and finally 10 and 20 for instance 10 and 20 so for consumer D what do I have I have 10 and 20 this is 20 this is still till, till, till 6 this is 6 this is 12 this is 6 this is 12 6 12 6 12 hours duration this is uh, a 20 you know total 18 18 18 18 so this would be 24 6 10 6 12 right so what do i have is i need to find the diversity factor these are given a different number of consumer a consumer b consumer c and d so what do i can say what do i need is i need the maximum demands so if i do over here i can find out the maximum demand of a that is what 
by checking you can find maximum demand of A is 15 the units are kilowatt megawatt whatever it is maximum demand of B is 20 the maximum demand of C is 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 over here is 16 and the maximum demand of D is what it's 20 right so you have you need to find the diversity factor so for that you need to find the the, the the maximum demand on the station so for that what do you do you do the summation of the maximum summing the demand in each interval summing the demands in each interval fine so so what do you have from 0 to 6 0 to 6 what do you have 6 to 12 12 to 18 18 to 24 0 to 6 you have 15 and then 6 no 15 and 10 25 and then 5 30 and then 10 40 is it 40 it is 40 let's say it's in the kilowatts range okay consider the power to be in kilowatts range so you have 40 kilowatts over here this is on the system okay now from 6 to 12 you have what 5 and then 5 10 and then uh, over here you have 16 so 26 36 right 36 yes 36 36 kilowatts on the system from 12 to 18 do the summations whatever it is this is 50 and the other is 39 this is 50 and the other is 39 so have a look you have the individual maximum demand from the individual load curve and the maximum demand on the system is this one pm of system or the pm of the station so now you can find out the diversity factor the diversity factor would be the summation of all these four 15 plus 20 plus 20 plus 16 and divided by 50 and what does it comes out to be this comes out to be 1.42 this comes out to be 1.42 that is it now I told you the diversity factor of the residential is the highest because their peaks lie at the same time their peaks lie at the same time why is that so because uh, you know you've got the same trend you've got the same habit of using that you have the same habit of using electricity and that is most probably in the evening times yes yes so I hope that this is clear and I will see if I have another small bit of an example yes I have a little example I have a little example so what do I do it I, I, I will do it over here okay a metropolitan building with six residential apartments three offices and a shop has an overall diversity factor this much power factor this much connected load is given okay okay let's uh, let's do it in the next video what do you say what do you say or let's say we do it over here let's say we do it over here example but let's say we do it in the next video i don't want this video to get boring and long enough so the next video would be dedicated to examples so we'll understand it better over there so see you in the next video very soon till then take care goodbye